Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of RCW Relentless. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties we were having there as we have Katsu coming out here. Now Katsu, uh, he had been in a match with Kai the Red Dragon against Brian Danielson, the American Dragon, and the Blessed Warrior Jay Jin. And that match, possibly one of the greatest matches I've ever had the pleasure of calling. As, you know, we do a lot of really crazy things here in RCW. We do a lot of really, really crazy things. And, you know, when I tell people about RCW, it's one of the things that, you know, to see how this show has evolved over time and to see how this... Like, this entire, um, universe has evolved over time as we have Shinsuke Nakamura, the King of Strong Style, coming out here. And so, you know, it's, it's very, I guess it's very eye-opening for me to see how, just how big this series for me has, has been. In the sense that. Well, quite frankly, you know, a lot of spin-off series, a lot of, you know, other types of things have, I guess, blossomed because of this series. I mean, even this show, Relentless, uh, the spin-off show, Relentless, Daybreak, you know, all these different creative ideas have stemmed from one thing, and, and that is, you know, WWE 2K and pro wrestling, so... You know, I'd like to thank everybody, especially the Glimish team and every one of my followers and every one of the people that I've networked with that have sort of made this what it is. As this is a two out of three falls match here with Katsu with a float over DDT to start it off and an Irish whip into the corner from Katsu. Is Katsu now with a boot right to the throat of Shinsuke Nakamura? We have some news regarding the King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring tournaments as well as the Women's Tag Team Tournaments. All the brackets are done. Um, all the brackets are done. All the, you know, trials and tribulations are done. It's Katsu. Katsu. Oh, Katsu got caught there with an inverted DDT as Shinsuke got out of dodge there. And so all the brackets are done, and let me tell you guys, the second half of Season 11 and the rest of this, the first half, are going to be possibly the most wild, like, RCW has ever been in its three-year history. And, you know, when I think about it, three years doesn't seem like a long time, but three years is a long time to be doing a singular you know, series or a singular project. Um, you know, obviously we've had um, spinoffs, we've had the day Daybreak, we've had Relentless right here, and, you know, but to continue this universe and to have my, my life, my personal life and everything else kind of revolve around it, it's pretty insane to me. Like, I tell, I tell my friends, like, you know, I decided to switch colleges. Um, like transfer colleges as the referee gets taken out there. Referee's okay there. But I decided to switch colleges, transfer colleges, and go to a college closer to home. Um, I, I graduated this year with a liberal arts uh, degree. And... And a lot of people downplay those degrees because... You know, it's, it's not specialized in anything. It's kind of like a little bit of everything. But in all honesty, I think that kind of sort of, sort of makes you a jack of all trades. In a way. It's an inverted DDT again from Shinsuke Nakamura. And, and it was because of RCW that I decided to take, you know, my career path elsewhere and decided to...
to uh, pursue a career in pro wrestling. So I thank you guys for that. Because if it wasn't your support for RCW and, and this channel and YouTube and everything else, uh, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. And, you know, we're at 240 subscribers on the YouTube side of things. And it's absolutely crazy to me that we are even close to that. As an armbar here on Nakamura. Dragon screw leg whip from Nakamura. Again, two out of three falls here. Katsu with a shot right to the midsection again with the knee. I want a page out of Shinsuke's playbook here. And Shinsuke turning the tables, turning this working hold to his advantage. Oh, good shot there with the elbow. No, oh, 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 power bomb there. The sit out power bomb from Shinsuke Nakamura. And he's holding his own against Katsu right here. Planning Katsu with the Ushiguroshi there. And I apologize for starting the stream a little bit later than usual. I was working on some stuff with uh, Young Sin, one of my mods, and we were trying to uh, get some of the stuff together for the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments, as well as the women's tag team tournaments as well. Shinsuke tried for the King Chasa knee strike there, but to no avail. Now going for the armbar again is Katsu. Locks in the armbar here. Not too much damage has been done on the arms. And that allows Shinsuke Nakamura to get out without much trouble. Kick to the midsection. Tried for an elbow strike. Oh, oh, oh! What a quick striking ability of Katsu. Good single leg drop kick there, and Katsu is down. Oh, good knee drop right there from Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, the battle of Japanese stars here. Katsu was signed along with Kari and Jay Jin and Kai as part of that Japanese trip that Sky had made to Japan to sign all of these international talents. And Sky has been really, really good since taking on the role of talent relations. As, uh, Katsu was busted open. You know, before this, Sky used to just be a talent. She used to just be, you know, somebody who wrestled for us here in RCW. And then I entrusted her with talent relations because, you know, she's got a young mind. Not only is she young, but she has a young creative mind that... You know, she just knows her way around the business. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about her and, and knowing her way around the business, knowing what makes RCW work. And, you know, that's just been very, very helpful. You know, it was Jordan that asked Sky if she could borrow her private jet to take to Miami. And, and so Jordan is on that Miami trip. And she will be back next week. From what I've been told. You know, and it makes me wonder, why is she heading to Miami? You know, there's... It's interesting. But, uh, we got... Sky got that private jet to handle business matters, and... Pretty sure her and Jordan have come to... A little bit of an agreement. Oh, good. Knee right to the midsection there. Count of eight there. Count of 20 under RCW rules. Looking for a setting sun! Here right on the Nakamura, and he lands it. To get the first fall here, one, two. No, Shinsuke Nakamura with a kick out of two and a half. As Katsu can't believe it, you could tell by his facial expression there. Now looking, going for another one, looking to plant Nakamura. There it is, another setting sun, and the sun may have set on Nakamura here for the first fall. Yes. Katsu getting the first fall here. Now Shinsuke's got a deeper hole to dig out of.
Oh, good shot with the knee right from Nakamura. It's been a striking battle all match here. Sit out powerbomb right there. Now going for the tie and a kick out at two. Or a kick out at one, excuse me. Oh, now looking for the reverse power slam here. Vintage Nakamura, and he lands it. He is fired up, and rightfully so, as he rolls him over into the pin. One. No. He's not going to get the tie off of that one. He's going to have to go for something more dangerous here as Nakamura fired up. Now Nakamura charging up the King Chasa knee strike. Right out of Katsu here. Kick right to the mid-second. King Chasa right there took Katsu's head clean off. One, two to tie it up. And Katsu just got the shoulder up at two. And Nakamura is going to have to battle back. Even further. Going for a lackluster cover and almost got him. Jay Jin must be watching this match very closely as he said coming to RCW he's going to rid the evils that ail it. And I'm pretty sure he was referring to Kai. And as far as Kats Katsu's concerned, Jay Jin is behind him. One, two, sit out, powerbomb, and a kick out of two and a half. As far as Katsu's concerned, everything revolving around Jay Jin is behind him. You know, especially with the King of the Ring tournament looming. Now, the brackets have already been determined. However, we will have two matches in the second half of Season 11, so we still have to get through to Reclaim. Still. Still have to get to that. It's Nakamura with the cocky cover there. Took out at one, but... After Reclaim, we'll, we'll be having, on the mid-season premiere, we'll be having two matches. One for the women's, and one for the men. And those matches will contain members of the King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring tournaments, respectively. And each of those two members er, will get an opportunity to get a first-round bye, meaning that they will not have to have a first-round matchup, meaning they get extra rest in the tournament. Their bodies get extra rest. They won't need any of that you know they won't need any of that rest so you know we will see we will we will have that rest oh back suplex right on the apron there from Katsu and this is going to be the biggest thing yet because the winner of those tournaments will also earn a title opportunity of their choosing, meaning they can either challenge for the tag titles, the Carnage title, the women's title, in the women's perspective, the women's tag titles, any of the titles on RCW, they can challenge for. Or, they could also do this too. They could forfeit their title shot. I don't know why you would do that, but they could forfeit their title shot and pass it on to somebody else if they're feeling so generous but I don't know anyone that would forfeit an opportunity like that one no kick out but those are the rules and the finals of the tournament will take place at RCW Corruption at the end of season 11 So it's going to be absolutely insane, folks. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And also, all of these episodes will be live on my YouTube channel as well after, after they air here on Glimmish. So, you know, in case you miss any of that or any of this, you'll have a chance to watch it there. But the good thing about catching it live is, well, you catch it live and you get to see it first 
before anybody else. It's Katsu. Katsu done playing games here. He's gonna hit the setting sun on a Nakamura to go up to nothing. Oh my god. Nakamura almost lost it to nothing here. Now Nakamura playing in Katsu with the cover. Wow. What a cover from Nakamura, but a kick out at one again. But Nakamura, Nakamura going to lift him up and again planning Katsu. Oh, he's pulling out all the stops here. He's calling Katsu up to his feet. We've seen this multiple times in this match. Katsu, oh! Got it out of the way of that knee strike. Oh, but Katsu, my God! Clothesline to the outside. Shinsuke Nakamura is definitely not playing around here. And as, as it is a battle. For the superstars that ill from Japan. Now Katsu, Katsu got the armbar locked in here. Let's see if the damage has been done here. Shinsuke Nakamura riding in pain. Shinsuke's got a tap. And Katsu defeats Shinsuke with a clean sweep. Two to nothing. Wow. I expected a lot more from Shinsuke Nakamura, but Katsu. This newly signed talent is something else, let me tell you. It's Katsu with the victory here over Shinsuke Nakamura. 2 nothing. A 2 nothing clean sweep. As Katsu celebrates here, but don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next match momentarily as we go over to the break screen. All right, folks, we're on to our next matchup as we have a steel cage match. Here coming up as we have the RCW World Champion, the visionary, Seth Rollins. Now, Seth Rollins, we haven't seen him in a while. But this man has his work cut out for him. As the RCW World Champion, Seth Rollins, will be defending his title not against one, but two men in a triple threat matchup with Brian Danielson and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens earning an opportunity by winning that battle royal that was on Relentless some time ago. And Brian Danielson earning an opportunity by making that man right there tap out to the LaBelle lock. And so it's only right that Danielson gets an opportunity as well. As Jordan Chase comes out here and now this guy this kid right here, he definitely has a bright future here in RCW. And he's got the baseball bat. And if you cross him, you're going to get cracked with the baseball bat here. But this is Seth Rollins we're talking about. A different side of Seth Rollins than we're so used to seeing. You know, Seth Rollins aligned himself with the authority in 2014 when he turned on his shield brother and Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. 
But now, this is a new Seth Rollins. Something more sinister. No pun intended with sinister there, but. But as the cage gets lowered, Jordan Chase going right after the champion, though, with a stutter, it looked like. Caught the champion off guard. Now, if Jordan Chase is able to get a victory here, you know, that triple threat could easily become a fatal four-way. And that would be the biggest opportunity Jordan Chase has here since fighting for the Ravage Championship. I believe it was against Tiger at the time. And the only way to win is to escape the cage or pinfall or submission here within the cage. But Seth Rollins putting a stop to that one. He pulls Jordan Chase. Back down. There's Rollins now. Rollins! Rollins with a small package! And the count of one. Now it was Rollins who had put Brian Outlaw through the cage in two minutes. It was a... It was a interesting uh, match stipulation by Brian Outlaw where you had 10 minutes to escape the cage and Seth was like, F10, I can get, I can beat him in two and that's exactly what he did. But since then, Brian Outlaw has gone on to other things with him and the Outliers challenging menace at RCW Reclaim in Las Vegas. Blue Thunderbomb right there from Jordan Chase. And it will be a partner of Brian's choosing as well as, well as a partner of Chris Danger's choosing. And they'll be going head to head in that tag match at Reclaim. It's Jordan Chase working on the arm of the champion and Jordan Chase think it's smarter, not harder. That's what you have to do when you're against someone like Seth Rollins. And this is the world champion here. This is not just anyone. Oh, an interesting kip up there, but a single leg drop kick takes down Jordan Chase. But Jordan Chase with a reversal here. Shoulder tackle, good there. And oh, the revolution knee from Jordan Chase. But Rollins still up and still ready to go. And now Rollins. Rollins looking to finish this early. Curb stop right on the Jordan Chase. Right into the bin. Two. And a kick out at two and a half. Referees right there to open up the door and also keep track of the count. Referee is not in the ring here. And Seguri right there, taking down Jordan Chase. And Jordan tried to come back, but Seth Rollins is just one step ahead. There's Jordan. Jordan with an Irish whip to the corner. Jordan, oh, double knees to the back. He wasn't prepared for that one in a single leg running drop kick there. Oh, what a jawbreaker from Jordan as he continues to battle. The world champion. Now he's got Rollins right where he wants him here. Rollins being thrown onto that cage wall. And that is so very unforgiving. Oh, headbutt from Rollins. As Rollins gets back in. Oh, but Jordan. Saw that one coming. I don't know how because he took a... Headbutt right to the head. German suplex. And a lariat turning Seth Rollins inside out there. But Rollins, Rollins kips up to his feet. Jordan Chase had no idea. As Jordan tried to climb out. 
But to no avail, and now Rollins! Rollins now! Rollins looking for the sling blade, ducked under it, Jordan Chase. Black Mass! He hesitated a little bit, and it connects flush! He looked Jordan Chase right in the eyes, Seth Rollins. And he got clocked for it. One, two, to get the win over Rollins, and Rollins kicks out in two and a half. And now Jordan Chase is feeling it right now. Jordan Chase is willing to climb to the top of the cage. Oh, no. Decided against it, I guess. Seth Rollins was up on his feet already. Spine buster. Right there from Jordan Chase. Jordan Chase fired up now. Jordan Chase... Trying to fight back here. Oh, but it might be over. Rollins again with the curb stop on the Jordan Chase. Two. And Jordan Chase again. This guy proved his worth here when he fought Tiger for the Rabbit Championship. He proved that he was a guy to be reckoned with, a force to be reckoned with here in RCW, and Rollins is getting the first hand of it. Crowd definitely not liking Rollins here, and I don't blame him. After all the shit that Rollins has done, I don't blame him. Oh! I think it was Jordan trying to go for the Superman punch on Spear! Spear right to Rollins out of nowhere! Spear right to Rollins, and Rollins lights out. Oh, but Rollins. Rollins, get up. Rollins, though. Jordan trying to escape, but Rollins is right there. And the booze rain down even more. He's trying to pull him back in. And he is. Oh, right off of the... Oh, my God. Right off of the cage. And Rollins has a straight shot to go out of the cage, but he's going to jump right on the Jordan with the elbow drop. He had a straight shot, but he's not going to give up here. Super kick right on the Jordan. And now he's going to climb. He's going to climb to the top of the cage to try to escape as Jordan. Trying to recuperate using the ropes. And now Jordan climbing up trying to stop Rollins. Rollins, Rollins, Rollins. Rollins, look at this camera angle as he kicks Jordan off. He kicked Jordan off of the off of the cage, and Rollins is gonna have a straight shot. Down to the floor as Jordan gets up and is watching. Seth Rollins descend to the floor, and Rollins gets the victory here over Jordan Chase. Jordan Chase almost had it there. He was so close, but yet so far. Close is not going to cut it. In any type of sport, especially in the RCW, it's not going to cut it. And Rollins saying that I'm better. I'm the one. I'm the smart one. As Rollins 
looks ahead to reclaim where he has to defend his title against Brian Danielson and Kevin Owens. But don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next match momentarily as we go over to the break screen. Alright folks, we have more action ahead of you guys, Extreme Rules Falls Count Anywhere match, and he's always on your mind, it is Austin Lee, the excellence of Eric Henson, my god, he's coming out with the king's robe and the king's crown, a precursor to the king of the ring tournament, Austin Lee being one of the entrants in that tournament. I mean, why else would he wear the king's robe and the king's crown? The excellence of arrogance. The arrogance definitely showing, saying that he's already king. But Austin, you got to go through the tournament just like everyone else. But talk about arrogance here. As he already declares himself as king, but will he be king? We'll find out in the second half of season 11 as Austin Lee comes out and gets ready to face his opponent here tonight. The American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Comes out here. Now, Brian Danielson, like I mentioned, Brian Danielson has a shot for the RCW World Championship against Kevin Owens and Rollins. And Rollins does not need to be pinned to lose his title under triple threat rules. So it is going to be a blockbuster. But this is an extreme rules. Falls count anywhere matches. Brian already with a clothesline to Austin Lee, but a kick out of one. Brian already went for the cover already. But let's talk about Austin Lee for a second. This man is as arrogant as he can be, attacking Rey Mysterio, making a statement as he will face Rey Mysterio in Las Vegas at RCW Reclaim, but he's also in the King of the Ring tournament. Now, I won't reveal all the participants quite yet, but the bracket has been finished. And perhaps he could get a first round bye, depending on if he is selected. Only two other participants in that tournament will be selected, as there's only one bye to be given out for each of the tournaments, the women's and the men's. And like I said, the winner will receive a title opportunity of their choosing. So that means if Austin Lee is indeed king of the ring, that means he will have a choice of choosing the Carnage title, the World Championship, or the Tag Team Championship. That is, if anybody wants to team with someone as arrogant as Austin Lee, but, I mean, that's just me. But Brian Danielson knows about this King of the Ring tournament. He is not in the King of the Ring tournament simply because he already has a title shot. So it wouldn't be fair. The King of the Ring Tournament and the Queen of the Ring Tournaments are for those women. Women and men that have, haven't had as many opportunities. And, and you know, we've seen King of the Ring. Propel 
careers of superstars, such as Booker T, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and so much more. You know, and that's a big opportunity for women and for the women and men of this RCW roster. For a select few, for sixteen for sixteen people, eight women and eight men. And also, don't forget, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament happening in the second half of Season 11. So, we'll have three... We will have three episodes in this season alone dedicated to tournaments. With the finals of those tournaments happening at Corruption. Extreme rules, false count anywhere. No weapons have been utilized yet as Danielson... Trying to come back here. Oh my, oh my god. A Canadian destroyer. On Danielson. As Austin Lee grabbing a chair. Oh, but Danielson has other planes here. Danielson with the Irish whip into the corner. Drop kick right there. Classic Danielson. Danielson running to the other corner again. And charging in again. With that drop kick. Couple of boots to the face of Austin Lee. The arrogance of Austin Lee definitely showing here. I mean, he's called the excellence of arrogance for a reason, folks. But already coming out in the king's ring, in the king's crown, in the king's robe. Maybe, maybe it's foreshadowing. Maybe he's trying to tell us something here. Maybe he's just boosting his own pathetic ego. There's a moonsault right there. The people's moonsault made famous by The Rock. Is a kick out at one. Oh, a shot right to the back of the head of Danielson. And Danielson ha has had concussion issues in the past trying to block the kick of Danielson with the chair. But obviously didn't work. A right hand from Danielson. Kick to the midsection from Austin Lee. Now Austin Lee now going to plant... Danielson, but Danielson saw it coming. Danielson saw it coming right on the chair. Right on the chair. The LaBelle lock. The LaBelle lock. Right onto Austin Lee. And just like that, Austin Lee taps out to Danielson. And Danielson continues his stride. My God, Danielson with a, another quick, impressive victory. And Danielson continuing his momentum, heading into his title match. Versus Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. Will he be world champion? But you know what they say about Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And we'll just have to find out exactly what's going to happen at RCW Reclaim when Danielson tries for his shot to become world champion. Don't go anywhere, folks. Our main event is just upon us. Right, folks we have your main event ahead of us 
Because we have Malachi Black! The House of Black is ascending upon us here. Now Black 0-2 in RCW to start it off. And, you know, so he hasn't had the greatest start. But he's hoping, he, he's hoping with Menace that he can turn that around. And we'll see if he can. This man right here. A force. Malachi. Black. You know, just look at it. Look at him. Look at this man. Is this a man? That you want to face. I sure as hell don't. And it's an extreme rules match. Too as well. Which means no disqualifications. No count outs. Weapons are utilized. But this man knows it all. As Tommaso Ciampa. Comes out here to face Malachi Black. Now, I'm pretty sure all of us weren't expecting such quick work being done to uh, Austin Lee there, but, you know, Austin Lee bit off more than he could chew as Brian Danielson locks in the label lock and gets the victory there, but Ciampa. This is a man that you have to be extremely, extremely careful with. You don't want to look at him the wrong way or cross him the wrong way or anything like that. Because like his song says, no one survives. Let's get to this matchup, folks. Malachi Black right there. Tommaso Ciampa, Extreme Rules main event. Here we go, folks. Referee gets us underway in a kitchen sink. Right to Mal right from Malachi, right to Ciampa. Now, like I said, Black 0-2. Now, we don't usually keep track of records, but that's got to be glaring for Malachi Black. Malachi Black needs to do something to show Chris Danger, to show the leader that he belongs in Menace. Because right now, he might even con be considered the weak link. Lance Archer getting rid of The Rock, showing his allegiance. As Ciampa is the first one to grab a weapon here. And Malachi shoving the chair in the face of Ciampa. Oh, but Ciampa got out of the way, and oh... Clothesline to the outside as he looked for a back suplex and Ciampa got out of the way. That one landed on his feet. Well, Malachi. Malachi with a couple of elbows to the midsection. Perfectly fine out here. They can go as far as they want. Oh, what an insiguri to the back of the neck of Ciampa. The surgically repaired neck of Ciampa is... Oh, good right hand. And Ciampa again checking that kick. Is Ciampa and Malachi going to the outside here. Oh, what an uppercut. Sends him over to the barricade, back to the ringside area. This match can go anywhere, quite frankly. But a dragon screwed leg lift here from Ciampa. I guarantee these two are going to beat the living hell out of each other. I would expect nothing less from men like these guys. Oh, miss, missing the right hand. It smell bad for him. Knee strike right there. And another one. And 
As Malachi and Ciampa back in the ring where it belongs. What a right hand. Ciampa, Ciampa again going after Malachi Black. Ciampa, oh my God, what an elbow. From Malachi. And that roundhouse kick missed. The roundhouse kick missed and the pump up knee strike right there from Ciampa and an Insiguri. What back and forth. As Ciampa, Ciampa, oh, no, oh my God, GDT on the chair. And Ciampa is out. One, two, and a kick out. Ciampa was out. Uh oh, Ciampa, Ciampa, though, Ciampa with a knee right to the midsection of Malachi Black. Trying for the knee strike. Oh, the roundhouse kick right to the back of the neck. And Malachi watching Chamba crawl away. Another shot with the chair and another DDT right back on it. This is a sick, twisted individual right here in Malachi Black. As he sends him into the ropes. Ciampa turns it around. Ciampa unable to do anything. He tried to go for a lariat. But that didn't help. Irish whip. Good shot. Right to the head of, of Ciampa. Oh, back suplex on the apron. Gotta lift him up here. Black mass on the outside. Boom! Right there across the face. He's got to get him back in the ring, though, but. Ciampa turning it around. Now Ciampa. Ciampa got him back in the ring. Ciampa, though, can't connect with anything. Ciampa checking the kick of Malachi. Ciampa. Oh, another one. Oh, another Roundhouse kick to the back of the neck of Ciampa. And now Malachi coming in with a kendo stick right on the head. Busted him wide open. This is an onslaught. This is brutality here. As Chompa's down to one knee. Elbow. Oh, but the knee. Chompa. Oh, another knee right to the gut of Malachi Black. Oh, and a knee again. Sending Malachi to the outside. Ciampa desperately trying to come back in this. He knows that he's got to win it by being on the inside. But due to the extreme rules, these guys can be out here as much as they want. Ciampa wants to win this inside the ring, and that's the only way he can win it. Now trying for that knee again. Oh, and another kick to the back of the neck going after the damaged neck of Ciampa. I'm gonna pick up that chair. He's waiting for Ciampa to get up. This sick bastard waiting for Ciampa to get up. Standing switch. Looking for the inverted D Oh my God. I thought it was inverted DDT. City right there. What's a no about Black Mass? Black Mass on Ciampa. Black Mass on one, two to get the win over Ciampa, no! Ciampa just got the shoulder up at two. Oh, now Ciampa, Ciampa with the clothesline. Ciampa, planning Malachi Blackface first. Malachi 
Malachi just got wrecked with that knee. One. No. Kick out there from Malachi. And Ciampa can't believe it. Ciampa can't believe it. Oh, looking for the fairy tale ending. To no one. Oh, another kick to the back of the neck. Oh, looking for the bicycle knee. STO. Chompa now. Chompa. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Looking for the knees to the back. Malachi. Malachi reversed. Oh, he's going to lift him up again. Oh, power bomb. One. No, Malachi again with a kick out. Oh, and the kick right to the back. Chompa toying with Malachi right now. Good rake to the eyes. Completely legal under, under this ruling. Oh, a good knee strike right there. Days Malachi and all oh, a close line to the outside as Chompa now is, is really feeling it. Chompa, Chompa diving with the knee drop. Good chop right to the chest. And these two just keep fighting. Blow after blow here. Oh my, what a release German. And it was on the outside too, so that's concrete that Malachi's landing on. There's nothing protecting him out here. Granted, the, the ring hurts too, but this is concrete floor. At least you have some type of padding in the ring. You don't have any padding out here. Except for the floor mats, which they don't really do to do much when it comes to concrete. It's now Malachi. He's setting up the table, and you know what happens when somebody sets it up. Usually somebody ends up going through it. The same person that sets it up ends up going through it. It's never a good thing. It's like a bad omen or something. The right hand here from Chapel. Couple of shots. Oh, another shot to the back of the neck. There's not much Chompa can do here. Oh, Chompa with a kick. Chompa tried for the knee, but a buckle. Oh, and good knee to follow it up after the buckle. Good shot. Oh, oh, he put Chompa through it. He caught the edge. He put Chompa through the flaming table. Black mess once again. This is insane! And Malachi Black, it's like a switch went off! And Malachi is an absolute killer! And just beating the living hell out of Ciampa. Ciampa hasn't even hit the fairy tale ending once. This is just a beatdown. A relentless, no pun intended, beatdown. Owen oh, to my ass, says Malachi. We don't keep records, but I can tell you, there is that. Oh my God. Malachi. He's had enough. Malachi, moves all, oh my God. Choppa got out of the way. Choppa. Fairy tale ending on the outside. He got out of the way of the moonsault and lands a fairy tale ending. Oh, 
gone to Malachi Black, you couldn't have spotted that any better. I have never seen that ever in this game, and I'm just seeing that now. I have never seen an announce table finish a reverse like that. Never! And now Chompa taking out Malachi Black with a lariat. What a match! Another rake to the eyes as Black is busted open STO on the concrete. And now Chompa retaliating. Black. Black now. Black, oh my god, right off of the knee. The neck right off of the knee. Oh, looking for the fairy tale ending again. What's to no avail? Oh, release German! Oh my god. What in the hell? Oh, what a kick! He didn't get in the back of the neck, but he... Caught something of it. And Malachi. This ain't over. Talk about redemption right now. Malachi is going to wait for Trampa. My God, I have never seen a finisher reverse like that. And it looks like they're going backstage, folks. This fight ain't over. Pay no mind to that cancerous logo on the TV. We don't release our talents. We actually figure out what the hell to do with them. Jawbreaker right there. Chompa. Oh my god. A clothesline. But none of this... <clears throat> none of this is going to matter, folks. At least for now, because this is... You have to be inside the ring. And he's just stomping away on Malachi. But Malachi, Malachi with a couple of strikes. Malachi with a... With a knee. And if this is any indication that Malachi has been thinking about those two losses, if this isn't an indication, I don't know what is to you. Against the table here. As he went off of the table. Oh, and the kick right to the back of the neck again. He threw him in. Chompa. Chompa with a super kick right into the... Oh, and another one. My God. Malachi. With the super kicks right into the... Right into the lockers.
This is nuts. Oh, and a German suplex. And another one. Champa, another release German. Oh, right into the lockers again in the briefcase. Oh, and using the briefcase as a weapon. That briefcase means nothing. We don't have those anymore on RCW, but, you know, if you got weapons sitting there, you might as well utilize them. Referees just here. Referees taken out. Apparently Malachi Black. Damn, he was taking too long. DDT right on the floor. Throwing him right into the equipment box. Oh, oh right off of the knee. The backbreaker. And again, right into the equipment box he goes. Looking for a body slam, Chompa, turn it around. These two just tossing each other around. Oh, God. He's got Chompa against the table. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a suplex through the table. There it is! Another suplex! And it's through the table! And there's that ladder. Man, I bet Malachi wishes he could use that. And it appears that both men are going to head back to the arena. They're back in the crowd area. Malachi back at ringside. As he awaits for Ciampa. Both men right now. Itching to get back in the ring and now we're back in. We're back in the ring. Oh, the knee. Right on a Malachi, but a kick out at one. Uh oh, Choppa. Choppa, no. Choppa. With the knees right to the back of Malachi Black. One, two to end it. No. Malachi with a kick out at two. And now Malachi, reversal, reversal from Ciampa. Malachi face first off of the barricades. Ciampa going to lift him up here. Oh, right hand. Oh, and that kick, but it landed right on the kidneys of Ciampa this time. He's getting all parts of Chopper right now. Oh, and he's looking to end it. Propping him up. Black Mass! One, two, three! And Malachi Black 
gets its first victory in RCW. He is now one and two. Granted, we don't keep track of records. But one thing's for damn sure. He is not the weak link in Menace. And it makes me wonder, who is Chris Danger going to choose as his partner? Will it be Malachi Black? Will it be Lance Archer? We will find out soon enough.